Hey y'all, it's Mia here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna be unboxing a Lego Friends set. And this one is gonna be the horse training set. But this is not gonna be a typical unboxing video. As you guys can see, on my channel, I do a few toy unboxings, and Lego Friends is the one that actually started my love for YouTube. So, quick backstory before we get started. I wanted to do YouTube ever since I was a kid. It was around 2012 that Lego Friends came out, and also around that year is when I started my YouTube channel. If you actually look at the information under the About section of my channel, you can see that I started my account in 2012. At first, my YouTube channel was just for me to make playlists of my favorite Hatsune Miku songs, but it got real when I was a kid and I would get Lego Friends set and I was like, oh my God, I want to unbox them like my favorite YouTubers are doing. That's what I planned to do. I had my crusty, dusty iPad. I didn't have a room at the time. I would go to my basement where like my mom's room was downstairs, prop my iPad up and unbox my Lego Friends sets. And I remember it's deleted. I regret it so much that I deleted it. I wish I would have just privated it. Before my first YouTube video, I had 15 subscribers and they were all from my Lego Friends video. I unboxed the camper set and I had the crappiest quality you could think of. And there's talking in the background from my family being upstairs, but I'm trying to unbox this camper set. And it was such a core memory in my life because that is the day I was like, I want to be a YouTuber. So Lego Friends has such a huge impact on my development. I especially loved this franchise because as you guys know from my Monster High video, I didn't like dolls growing up. I didn't like toys with brushable hairs. I didn't like big dolls. So the fact that Lego Friends, it was like more targeted towards girls, so I was attracted to it. And these figures were miniature, they had molded hair, and all of these girls had interests that I was in, and the main character's named Mia. She always wore her hair in a ponytail, so did I as a kid, and she loved horses and animals and nature and being outside. So her impact on me made Lego Friends one of the biggest and my most favorite toy I've ever had. So I wanted to start off 2024 really good. So it's been a year since my YouTube channel has been monetized. I've been on YouTube since 2020 now that I've started back up posting. So I wanted my first video of 2024 and my anniversary of being monetized to be unboxing a Lego Friends set. And this is really big for me because I haven't unboxed a Lego Friends set on my channel since that old video that I did of the camper set. Opening this is gonna feel so nostalgic and I chose this set on purpose because it has Mia in it and the franchise just got rebooted. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna unbox this on my channel and instead of just playing music, I feel like you guys are just get bored watching me build. I mean, some of you guys might like it. I'm gonna do a voiceover on top of this and talk about the franchise and how it's impacted me and what my favorite characters are, what my opinions are in the reboot are, and we'll enjoy it together. And as I'm talking about my opinions about Lego Friends and my childhood with it, you can talk about yours down below. We can start a discussion. So, if you're excited to see this Lego set be built, it's clearly excited to get out of this box. Don't forget to like and subscribe, join the herd, Settle up and let's get started. So this is the set we're going to be opening today. Lego Friends Horse Training as 134 pieces. It is four and up. It is included with Aaliyah and Mia. This is the top of the box. If you guys have been playing Lego Friends since the beginning, they usually do like an illustrated picture of the characters, but now it's like they're in their Lego form. Not that much of a fan of. I would like to see like the artist try to draw them, what they would look like in real life or as a cartoon. They're still cute. They're posing. And I used to love these as a kid because I loved miniature toys and the box actually shows you how small the characters are. This is the side of the box and this is the other side. Now this is the back of the box. So this is what we will be building. I guess like an outdoor stable area plus attack area with some jumps. Oh my gosh, it even has a little shower pad. That is so cute. This is the perfect set to unbox as a first time making a Lego Friends unboxing now on my channel because it's tiny. It'll be a quick set and it relates to me because as you guys know, I'm an equestrian. I'm a huge horse girl. You guys are literally called my herd. This is the perfect set to unbox. During the building parts, I'll do a voiceover and tell you guys a little about how Lego Friends impacted me. I don't even know the correct way to open this. Is it here? In the box, we have the two building instructions. They're labeled, so there's gonna be another one in here. This is bag number one. 
this bag is not labeled. We have building instruction booklet number one, number two, and number three. So this is everything included in the box. I'm going to start building, and then at the end, I'll also show you guys the characters that come with it um, and review those because I have all of my old LEGO Friends characters to compare with these. I'm not sure if we're going to need this right away, but of course, we're going to start off with number one. Guys, the instructions are actually so much better than when I was a kid building these sets because look at this. As you're building, it tells you which ones you need in your hand at this moment to build the piece. And Aaliyah will walk through the line to show you how close you are to being finished. That's like really good for kids, especially me like who lost my patience. Like, when am I almost done? This is so cute. I don't think the instructions were hard at all. It tells you at the end like the grayed out ones and the ones that you completed. So you're not confused over what did you build now and what you have left to build. You get to have a chance to win a cool Lego prize if you scan this, so you're welcome. Alien. I grew up with Lego friends since they came out in the beginning. My first set was actually the dog show set with Mia and two other dogs. And I think I got that around fourth grade. I actually just ran into Lego friends in Target one time with my mom. I didn't not like Legos, but I didn't play with Legos at all until Lego Friends, and that set drew my attention. Then I found on the Lego like YouTube channel that they made a show. So the first episode I watched was Olivia, the new girl in school. I actually used to bring out all my Lego friends, put my iPad on the table, and reenact the whole episode with my toys. So my favorite character is Mia. Mia loves horses like me, loves animals. I really saw myself in her. I also loved that Mia loved the colors blue and green. She always wore those and turquoise and green and blue are my favorite colors. When it came to building the Lego Friends sets, I wasn't even really that old, but I guess I struggled building them because of the tiny little pieces and I was bad. I used to be so excited to unbox these Lego Friends sets that you know how the numbers are on the bags? I used to open all the bags at once. Then I would get overwhelmed with all these pieces. So you know what I used to do? My mom used to help me build my Lego Friends sets and I used to wait till she came home from work to open my Lego friend sets. It would make me so impatient, so mad, but she would help me build them. I almost had every single set as they came out. I had so many sets I actually can't even remember. And I had these shelves in my room. They used to be covered in Lego friend sets, right? One time my mom came in my room, she was so overwhelmed with how many Lego friends I had. And she started crying. That's when I knew I had to slow down. I did get rid of a lot of my sets. So what I did was I kept all the animal minifigures and I kept all the people and I still hold on to them to this day. I loved the show. I loved the original. What I really liked about the original original, the first, was their hair molds were exactly the same to the toys. The dolls, the figures looked exactly like the cartoon. In the show, my favorite character other than the five girls was Livy Star. I love the Lego Friends songs. They're so good. I especially love Livy's music. I used to love the little animals that came with the set. I would play with the animals on the side when I was a kid and I used to make up stories for them like I used to just play with the animals and have their own little side quest from watching the first 44 minute movie that they just made on Netflix I've connected most with Aaliyah, Autumn, Leanne, and Ali. I know that this chapter is only just more diverse the different ethnicities and skin colors and personality traits is very refreshing I want to see these toys on the shelves for years to come I am so happy and blessed to have Lego friends in my life and to still have it in my life I never outgrew it I don't know who Mia was letting ride her horse, but they messed up her back. We're gonna fix it. Call me a veterinarian because this back is gonna be able to be ridden again. What's really cool about these horses in the new generation is their heads move. Look how cute. And you can push them right back up. Their tails are like this rubber material and it can move. Obviously don't be too rough, you could probably rip it out, but that is so cute. And the hair feels the same way, like this rubber material. I'm guessing this is her baby. I kind of wish the mane was colored in. You can definitely see the similarities. This one's eye color is brown and this one's kind of like, like a light yellow. They both have cute eyebrows. Every horse looks good with eyebrows if you've seen Spirit, so they did really good with the design. I don't know if all the horse molds had this, but 
She's got a hole in her chest. First her back, now her chest. She needs, we need to build a vet clinic and fix her. Let's build Aaliyah. As you can see, she's an equestrian and she's dressed in the proper attire, either training for a competition or is about to be in a competition. I really like that these new Lego friends have different face molds. Like they're way more diverse with different lip shapes, eye shapes, eyebrows, different facial expressions. And then her hair and her helmet are one piece. She's got it in this low bun style. She's, I think, the most similar to me because we both ride horses and she's very academic and she likes to plan. That's definitely me. And I also like that they're adding diversity into the equestrian community. They're primarily white and white females in the horseback riding world, so I love seeing the diversity that Alea brings to Lego friends and the equestrian community. And then we have iconic Mia. She's so pretty, look at her hair. Oh my God, her boots. Kidding, we're gonna build her. <laughs> Mia, I swear bro, was the main character. I don't care what anyone says. Even in the first Lego friends show, she technically was the main character and she was mad at Olivia and everyone had to find her horse, Bella. So Mia Loki was the main character, as she should be. I think she was the most interesting. Maybe it's because I'm biased because I loved Mia, she was my favorite, but look at her. Mia slaying with these boots. I don't know if they're like equestrian, like high black boots or mucking boots, but blue and green were definitely her colors. She's got this blue shirt with a lightning bolt. It's giving rainbow dash. She was always athletic. It makes sense. Lightning bolt definitely suits her. She's got this orange little cardigan. She used to have brown eyes, but this Mia is based off the reboot of Lego Friends that they did before the new chapter. So she's got green eyes. She's smirking a little bit. The detail's so good that you can literally see her upper lip. Like it's no longer just outlines anymore. Her eyebrows are raised up a bit and she's got this very long beautiful braid. So these are the two figures that come with this set and these are the two animals. So the set is done. Look how cute it looks. So we've got this little outside barn. Up here is where Mia can keep an eye on Alea and watch her skills with some binoculars. This is the trophy. I definitely know that Mia won that. She's displaying it as she should. It's got a little bench for the characters to sit on and watch. The openings on this side are probably for cross-tying the horses, getting them tacked up and ready. On this opening side, it's all the grooming equipment, which is so cute. They've got the brushes, the soap, the spray bottles. I remember these accessories when I used to collect the Lego Friends and they were my favorite because I love little miniature things. They were so cute. I'm not sure what this is. Cotton balls, soap. I have no idea. I don't know what this is either. A bottle of water, I have no idea. And if grooming cannot save the crusty dust, Dusty horse. There's a shower that moves its head. I'm guessing this is the tack room, but when you take off the saddle, this little decal has all of these things like a change of shoes, an outfit, a saddle bag, books, trophies, and pictures. This whole outside barn was really easy to use. I'm very glad that this is the set I chose to do my first Lego Friends unboxing because it not only relates to me because I'm an equestrian, but it was also really simple. And now I can build upon my skills of building like I did when I was a kid. Then we've got this little spinner thing. It doesn't come with an arrow to point to anything. So I'm guessing like the top one is what is next on the schedule. First, they probably feed them, then brush them, then when the day's done, they sleep, but I have no idea. Another addition is a basket or a little crate full of bows, and we are gonna decorate the horse. We've got one jump over here and a smaller one on this side. And Mia's riding days are probably over. Just kidding. She's probably slowed down a bit. Now she probably runs her own barn or she teaches lessons. So now she has to do barn chores. I'm kidding. We actually all have to. She's probably built strong and she's a boss. Like, look at what she developed over here. She's living the dream. All right, let's see what we should do with the horse. I don't know what, what to pick, but we're gonna do grooming. All right, we're gonna wash her actually. We're not just gonna groom her. She has to look real, real stylish for her competition. All right, let's scrub. Wash her mane, it's looking a little greasy. I could see her eye burger, so scrub that too. It's okay, it's um Johnson & Johnson's no tear shampoo soap, I mean. All right, um, now she's wet, let's shake her dry. So I gave Aaliyah this brush. I'm gonna say it's a curry comb slash soft brush. All my horse girls watching this, you know the steps. If it's a curry comb, we'll spin. If it's a soft brush, we'll swipe. And finally, Girly Pop needs to fly spray her horse. You don't want your horse to get ticks. 
Alrighty, now time to accessorize. I didn't realize there was a comb in there. We have to comb her tail and mane. All right, we gotta comb her mane. Gotta make it look real good so she gets a sponsorship from a horse beauty brand. That forelock, that tail. All the bows are the same. They have this like little heart in the center. I just lied to your face. There's also this one. We'll put the smaller bow up here. So the big bow does not block her sight. She has a hole where her tail is. So we could put another bow up here. And now let's tack her up. We have to break her back. Oh wait, I think it goes this way. I thought this was the horn of the saddle. I'm like, wow. But yeah, it goes back here. Lego friends riding rules do not pertain to real life. They hop on and this little split here goes in between their legs. So they sit or so they stand. They don't even sit. They stand on the saddle and they can ride like this. Alea's bold, maybe she's like a bridalist rider or Mia's trying to work on her balance and not use her arms. So she has her riding with just a saddle on or this toy set just didn't make reins for the horse. Maybe she's a vaulting rider and is standing up and doing a trick. But yeah, that's how the saddle works. I actually think it's really creative. Don't worry, I didn't forget about the baby. Now she's got a bow too. Let's see her ride. Mia can watch up here or lay down or sleep. I get it girl, you're getting old. The little baby horse is watching from the inside. And now, let's watch Aaliyah jump. Let's hope I chose the right distance between the jumps so the horse doesn't bust her butt. Alrighty, Leia. <gasps> oh, she, I thought she was gonna fall off her horse. Turns out her hair fell off of her. All right, she doesn't get penalized for that because user error, I should have pressed harder on her head. Alrighty, take two. <gasps> oh, wait, the horse fell, but not her. Sit in the saddle, girl. I'll make sure your helmet's tight in. Take three. Aaliyah killed it. The horse won last place. Kidding, first. Not only did she win first place, she won a trophy, but that's okay, the horse gets something too. Tear it up, treat yourself, girl. Get your ice cream. Don't worry, the baby will get some too. And don't worry, Mia gets to have the treat too. She's a horse girl, so she has to stand on all fours. And here you go. <laughs> Tear it up, guys. So this is my audition to write um, season two, episode one. Everyone's a winner, look at them. All credit goes to Mia and her hard work. She carried Heart Lake City and its animals on her back. Look, her back even fell off doing it. Oh my God, guys, I think we gave the horses too much ice cream or cotton balls, whatever that is, snowballs. Because look, now Mia has to go pick up the horse poop. Guys, we're not done. I have every single Lego minifigure and their animals from my time of collecting Lego friends. And I'll compare some of them to these. So this was actually Mia's horse, Bella, the original Lego friends horse. And this was the typical mold that they had. Now you can see the differences between them. They obviously look so much better now. The limbs are a little bent. The tails feel awesome. The manes were not different colors and the plastic felt the same all around. And the heads move. The only thing that bothers me is this horse doesn't have reins. Now they obviously have different head shapes, but I'm gonna try putting these reins on the new horse. Oh my gosh, they fit. I didn't actually expect that. They look perfectly normal on her. I actually think it looks better on the new horses than this one. When the riders sit on them, as you can see, this one's back is longer than this one. The saddle almost touches Bella's tail. But look, now they can both ride together. Bella was Mia's horse before the Lego Friends girls got rebooted to Girls on a Mission. I'm not the biggest fan of Girls on a Mission, so this is canon. This, Bella, will always be Mia's horse. And fun fact, I actually have a horse in my room, if you saw my room tour, named Bella. I named her Bella when I was like five years old because I really liked that name. And when I saw that Lego Friends Mia had a horse named Bella, I lost it as a kid. It just made me love her even more. This is the only baby horse I have. Not much has changed. The eyes in the new Lego friends are more unique. Like they have eyebrows and different eye shapes. But other than that, they're exactly the same mold. So this is where I left off with Lego friends. I collected them before Girls with a Mission came out. I personally didn't like Girls on a Mission. I still watch the show. Like I've watched all the episodes. I liked the original better. So this is the Mia I have. The original Mia from like 2012 until Girls Girls on a Mission. I love her so much. And this is the new Mia. Girls on a Mission slash new chapter. Because what they did was they changed her eye color and made it green. Not a fan of that. They took out her freckles. I miss her freckles. They were so cute. And they lightened her hair. And I really didn't like that either. I loved like her Ariana Grande red color. And what was really cool with the old Lego friends was as you can see her hair was rubber. It's matte. This is hard and plastic. 
I loved the material of these Lego Friends hair types. I'm glad that Mia was still herself, like she's very athletic and she loves animals and all of that, but I just loved her old physical features more. But wow, look, they're seeing each other in the future. We also can compare Alea to Mia because as you can see, they're around the same age, but back then they typically all had the same eye shapes, same mouth. The new Lego friends have very diverse faces and that's what I really like about this new generation. But we can also compare Mia's hair to Alea's because I have her helmet and her hair from the few stables that I had growing up. So as you can see, the helmet is rubber, just like her hair. It was a typical like English helmet. This one though is really nice. You can see like the detail on the plastic and they strayed away from just a black helmet. This one's purple, which is really cute. Mia has a ponytail and Aaliyah has a bun. So it's nice. Now there's different hairstyles to go with the helmets. No matter what, I grew up with these girlies and I love them so much. And I'm actually not upset with this reboot because they didn't replace anything. They just honestly made them grow older because she is now a mom of one of the characters named Autumn. Stephanie is the mayor of Heart Lake City now. So at least they're still in the same universe. And that makes me very happy that they weren't replaced because I've lived through so many of my fandoms just having reboots and the whole story's wiped away. They kept Heart Lake City and I love that the most. I hope you guys enjoyed me unboxing the Lego Friends horse training set. I actually had a very therapeutic time building it. It was very peaceful and it brought me back to my childhood. So if you want to see me build more Lego Friends sets, comment down below because I had a blast doing it and I haven't done this since I was a kid. So to be back building them again is a beautiful start to 2024 and my first Lego Friends video. I am up to date with the show, like I'm watching it. It's a comfort show. So I'm up to date in the Lego fandom. And I actually went to BrickFest, one of the biggest Lego conventions on my channel. So if you wanna see and learn more about my Lego friend journey, check that video out. And let me know down below if you grew up with these girlies or if you're just new in the fandom. Also, don't forget to join the herd because they're in it. And like, subscribe, share, and leave comments everywhere. Have a blessed day. I don't know where they expect me to put the poop. I'm gonna put it in here. The wheelbarrow has the fresh food in it. I don't want contamination. Why am I stressed over this toy?